My name is Jules Evans. I'm a research fellow at the Centre for the History of Emotions at uh, Queen Mary University of London. Uh, and I've written a book called The Art of Losing Control, a guide to ecstatic experiences. So the book is looking at ecstatic experiences and ecstasy. Uh, I'm interested in, in the original meaning of the word, which was moments where you go beyond your ego and feel a connection to something bigger than you. Now, the ego can be a rather anxious, inhibited, uh, nervous uh, place to be stuck. Uh, we, we can feel separated from other people and we worry a lot about how we're doing in life, how we're coming across. Um, and so that's why we all seek ways to kind of um, go beyond the ego, to, to feel it, you know, to lose our inhibitions and to let go of control. And that could be in, 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 in little ways. For example, we talk about getting lost in a good book, getting transported by a beautiful piece of music or a film or uh, walking in nature, for example. So this weekend I was walking in uh, on Bambra Beach and just suddenly felt this um, deep sense of connection to the beautiful landscape. So those kind of small moments can be very meaningful and healing and really improve our lives. And then you have deeper experiences of ecstasy, which people might find on a meditation retreat or on psychedelics or during incredible sex or um, even in war as well, where people get totally absorbed in a moment, so absorbed they actually kind of forget themselves and lose control and feel just completely um, carried away. And these moments, which I think we all seek, so we all find, need uh, ways of, of, of kind of switching off our mind and letting go of control, but we can find them in ways that are good for us and bad for us. Aldous Huxley talked about healthy transcendence and toxic transcendence. You can get used, for example, to switching off your mind and letting go through, um, through drugs, or you could get addicted to, to sex or to booze, in you know, ways that are, are not good for us. So I was really interested in trying to help people think about how do we lose control? It's this kind of fundamental question. Um, how do you lose control? And are there ways you could lose it that are bad for you and ways that are better for you? To try and help people avoid the pitfalls and steer them to the good stuff.